Let's take a closer look at the upgraded Porsche 911 GT3R. In the last three years, the GT3R could win in DTM, IMSA and its class in Le Mans. The 911 is a very popular and very successful race car. So how do you update a car like this? First of all, this is a customer race car. And so it is important that the car is easy to drive, although downforce is increasing on GT3 cars with every generation. And more downforce usually makes the car trickier to drive. So one focus was on aerodynamics, so adding downforce and making it easier to drive at the same time. The other priority was on suspension to realize that. If you see the new car, it's hard to spot a difference. They kept their 4.2 liter naturally aspirated engine with 565 horsepower, which makes it easier for customer teams to operate the car compared to more complex turbo engines. Three years ago, when the previous version was revealed, we already noticed that Porsche didn't add louvres to the front fender and guessed that it will come with the next update. And now we can see that they added front louvres for more downforce and to match the level of the competition. To balance that, they added a 4mm gurney flap to the large rear wing. Check out my previous GT3R video for more detailed infos on the concept. Interesting is that the Porsche is still running with stock mirrors, while other GT3 cars use optimized aero mirrors. Advantage for Porsche here is that stock mirrors don't shake as much, so drivers see more and they are more robust and cheaper to replace. In order to reduce aerodynamic changes while driving, Porsche updated their suspension kinematics at front and rear for less pitch under acceleration and braking. They updated their race ABS and closed the underbody more than before. Porsche changed to ceramic rear wheel bearings, by the way like my Lupo 3L, which don't just save weight, they are also more durable, which helps reliability. The rear wheel drive is very stressed at a 911 with the rear biased weight distribution. So at tracks like Monza or Le Castellet, where teams lower the cars, the drive shafts are more stressed because of the not ideal angle and hence the joints get hotter. Porsche now added own cooling ducts for the drive shafts. They also added cooling for the hydraulic power steering, so its performance stays the same even at hotter races. And they updated the driver cooling ducts. Another small but important detail is that locked data is now saved on a USB stick instead of being downloaded with a laptop during a pit stop. So instead of someone trying to plug in the computer during pit stop and waiting for the download, you simply swap the USB stick. Also, the price increased significantly, like for all GT3 cars. While the previous GT3R was 511,000 euro, the upgraded version now costs 573,000 euro which is very expensive for a GT3 car, but compared to the competition, pretty cheap. And you get a well-proven, successful car for that. And the best part is, if you already have a GT3R, there is an upgrade package available, and it's just 41,500 euro. The car is testing in Weissach for a year now, and when it participated in the 24 hours of Spa just as a test race, it already reached second position overall. So Porsche optimized their popular and successful 911 GT3R in a lot of details. The package they deliver is a lot cheaper than the competition, competitive and much easier to handle with their naturally aspirated engine. How do you like the new 911 GT3R? Let me know in the comments below and check out my other videos for more.